Hello and welcome to episode six of the With the Bentleys podcast. Yes. My name is James. What's your name? With me is Daniel I'm and Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. Stars of the With the Bentleys show, Ooh. which yes. you can check out on youtube.com slash with the Bentleys. Please. I think. That, I might, think not be the that might not be true. I don't know if we have the official URL here. I don't know if it is. If you search for With the Bentleys on YouTube, you'll find this. Because if you're listening on podcast services, audio services, you can find this podcast on YouTube and watch it as a video as well. Yes, you can. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can do the vice versa and find the podcast services. If you just want to have like an audio experience. If you've never listened to this podcast before, we basically just sit around a table, grab a few topics and discuss them until we go completely off the rails and decide to end that usually happens. It's yeah, happened every single time. Five minutes. Yeah, every single time. All we, right. do, we do have some topics picked out today, though. We do indeed. We do have three topics ready, well, sat right in front of us. More yeah, drawn today. with a child's crayon. And that's not a lie. It's <laughs> actually true. Right, should we jump straight into it then? <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah, I used a, a child's crayon, and it's an orange one used by a child. Right. And, and I'm not talking about it. me. <laughs> it was used by an actual child, a small one. Two years old. Uh, I shake. I shake my head. What are you shaking your head for? I think it's great. I just want to shake. Topics, three topics there. Yeah. Okay. What What is your first topic? Then? First topic is right there. Number one. It says blended gluding. Blended gluding. Why? Why are the accents? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> by, by the way. A blended gluding. I don't miss my own accent. I've developed it. It's like a mix between Indian and Portuguese. Portuguese. You know what I mean? No. You know what I mean, mate? You Not what really. I mean? Well, what if I spoke like this all the time? What would you We've have to say off then? off the rails before we were on the rails here. <laughs> well, if you speak like that, I want to be violent to you all the what time. The, what on earth? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just inciting <laughs> violence with my accent. Whoa. This is the worst <laughs> start to a podcast in history. <laughs> Goodness me, I'm sorry, listeners, for this inciting of violence in the podcast here. <laughs> if you've stuck around this far, then congratulations. <laughs> Subscribe if you hit so far. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that was a bit intense, wasn't it? Right, right. First topic, branded clothing. What, what do you think? What, what were your intentions when you uh, brought this topic up? Right, yeah, branded clothing. I think it's an interesting topic because, like, you can get something that's made out of cotton, right? Made by yeah. two different manufacturers. One's very expensive and one is not. That's That, to me, in itself, is interesting. So you're talking about the power of well-known brands. Yeah, power of branding, yeah. Branding is such an important, powerful thing for companies because they, they incorporate obviously branding into their strategy so that they can therefore charge more for something that doesn't need to be necessarily charged as high as it is. Mm -hmm. Interesting to me. But branding yourself costs money as well because you you got to, you know, spend more time on thinking about how you get yourself out of that. You design uh, special logos and all the packaging costs and stuff. Yeah. It's all costs yep. money Sorry for well. the yawn there. But yeah, I think I, I like to... Think about branding in more simple terms, like throw yourself back, throw yourself back a few hundred years to like, you know, when they used swords and shields. Yeah, how, how do I throw myself back? <laughs> in your imagination. Just a few hundred years ago. Yeah, go back a few hundred years back to when they used to, you know, use sword, wield swords and, and brandish shields. Okay. And back in the day, there used to be like people that made swords and shields, but It'd be like your average blacksmith that's down the street and he'd do it and he'd make some swords and everything. Yeah. But then there'd be people that are like legendary, legendary masters of uh, making sharp, super sharp, double-edged mm. swords and all this, right? Legendary blacksmith. This is like a yeah. video game. The, the ones that were like the legendary ones, yeah, mm. they were the ones that always used to charge more because people knew if they used that sword, it wouldn't break, it wouldn't bend. It would always chop what they needed to chop. It's super mm. sharp. You know, so that's a form of branding because they're using their name to represent their product. That's like early branding that, if you think about it. Mm. And nowadays it's like, oh, Gucci, Gucci. Mm, yeah. Gucci. It's that Gucci is not really uh, popular for years. It's not that popular anymore. Then after they changed designer, now they're kind of rebranding themselves. It's very interesting. I wonder how much Gucci they, Gang has uh, they're doing really increased well. Gucci's increased market sales. share. 
people are always talking about Gucci and like rap videos and all that stuff. Before they they they're a little bit old, right? Now they're like younger. Their appearance younger and more colorful and uh, stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think it's a little bit weird, but it seems like people are liking it. I've never really been into like like clothing brands and stuff like that, or had any like affiliation or like loyalty to any clothing brand really. Mm. Me either. I I became brand aware by about two years old, nineteen or twenty. Right. That's when I started to become brand aware. To be honest, before that, I didn't give a damn, darling. I I always know brands and stuff like that, but the I think the older I get, like the less interested I am to these. I'm not. I'm I'm just simply like I sacrifice my comfort to the way I look all the time now. Yeah. No, 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 no. I sacrifice my look to oh. the, my comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the way you meant, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That I, was what you meant to say, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd rather to be comfy you're to You're not honest. superficial is what you're trying to show. <laughs> yeah, I've never really <laughs> understood like the spending a ridiculous amount of money just because like a shirt has a certain logo on it or something yes. like that. Because like what you're mm. saying is that like a lot of these branded clothings, they're similar materials. Maybe... Th- Obviously, they're going to be higher quality oh, than like stuff you're going to go from like Asda or something like that. But in terms of what you pay for them, it's like it's like you have Beats on your head right now. Yes, Beats headphones for the price you pay for them, the quality is not great. You can get yes headphones with a lot better quality for cheaper yeah. than Beats, Apparently but you're paying so. for the Beats brand. Yes, I did. Well, you didn't get you got them. No, they, I got they them. Were, they were free <laughs> anyway. <laughs> them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use headphones enough to to spend. Yeah, but apparently um, in Dr. Dre Beats headphones uh, packaging strategy, basically they spent uh, more on packaging than they did on actually the 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 technology inside the headphones. How about that? So actually, they make sense. Yeah, they put more packaging. It's it's almost a fashion accessory into it than Mm -hmm. than they did technology. Mm -hmm. So that means that the quality is actually not the quality of the headphones isn't as good as the quality of the packaging. Well, obviously the marketing that goes with it, but yeah, that's quite yeah. an interesting, uh, interesting thing, really. Yeah. So going back to my sword, sword wielding, shield bearing uh, days, right? Yeah. Like the the brand ambassador, I really was the person who founded the brand, isn't it? So the um, the like also samurai swords. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you get these like legendary samurai sword makers that are like. Yeah. They were the dude that made those super sharp samurai swords that could cut paper. Yeah. You know, those ones. I don't mean cut cut paper. Oh, I can cut paper. I don't mean like that. I mean, like, you just lay it on. You 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 can drop paper on it and it shears on the blade. That's how sharp I, it is. I've seen, um, once I had a chance to see, you know, like, they, when they open up, was that, was that called in English? A tomb? You know, yeah, people go to... A tomb? Yeah, that kind of career. A tomb raider? No, 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 like, tomb officially. Raider. Like, archaeologists. Oh, an archaeologist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've t- <laughs> oh. I immediately go to a Tomb Raider, <laughs> Lara Croft, a criminal of the underworld. O- officially opening the tomb, not right. Illegally. Yeah, yeah, one of these legit yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah, course. Then, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Then, then I've I've had chance to see they dig out this uh, this sword from two thousand years ago. Okay. And when they took it out, it was so sharp. If you have like a stack of newspaper, then you just slide it like that. It cut through all the newspaper. I'm telling you, mate. It's but so that's interesting. That sort years of stuff. Like, like they the were making techniques. swords yeah. so sharp, right? They were talking about the tip of the blade in microns. Did, did they measure yeah. it? <laughs> in microns. Like they were so sharp, oh, yeah. you could cut anything with it. And they're pretty as well, you know, like they like uh, they uh, um, do designs with it oh, and everything. Like the handles and like the hilts and everything. They like plated with sculpted. silver or gold. Yeah. They uh, also apparently, yeah, like really even pretty. even um, back in the day, these samurais, they used to use the sheath. You know, the, the sheath is the thing that goes over the blade. Yeah. yeah. They used to use the sheath as a separate weapon. Yeah. So they actually had like the sheath was a weapon and the sword was a weapon. Yeah. So you don't have to go in there single handedly. You can go in there with two weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing, really. Use the sheath as a weapon itself. I love like ancient weaponry. It's so cool. 
It's an interesting... It's yes, really like, interesting. Wow. I mean, the the amount of, obviously, massacres that have taken place yeah. due to weaponry, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, the like the workmanship behind them. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that is a, a whole new level oh, of workmanship. You, you know, uh, in China, then uh, it, it, uh, the same period of time, about two, three thousand years ago, when they used... Uh, when the... You know, was was that called? When the people, the worker who made the sword, a lot of them finally, they, they die... They they die like superstitiously with they, their secrets. They put themselves in the same furnace because they made out of copper, isn't it? Copper, yeah. Yeah. Then they 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 jump in that in that f- furnace, then they basically die in that fire with making the process of making that Why? sword because they 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 feel like their spirit can go into the sword, so oh it will be like a, that is really cool. That's really interesting. Wow. Yeah, but it's really happening. Like That's a, crazy. there are famous people but uh, doing that. You got to be dedicated to think inside your head that if you die with your sword, it will your sp- in, in harness or whatever <laughs> is really your cool. spirit into that blade. Yeah. And therefore whoever uses it is it's like It's crazy, isn't it? Whoever uses that sword has got your power in that's the <laughs> Wow, that's something else. That they might that's not cool. be a volunteer to do so. No. Maybe the king ordered them oh, to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right there. But that's an interesting theory. I mean, it goes along with these guys that believe that if you eat testicles, it makes you more of a, a manly <laughs> character, doesn't it? I mean, you, you know, you eat, you eat a heart and you become courageous. You know, you eat you eat lungs and suddenly you can swim underwater for longer. You know, people think these things that like if you eat yeah. certain body parts, it relates to your own. That's as crazy as yeah. the sword if you, one. If you eat brain, then you'll be smarter. I can't believe it. With my right mind, I can't. But it is an interesting thing that people have been so into it that they believe it to be true. Yeah. I, I think sh- people should be ve- uh, vegetarian. Okay. I, I support vegetarian people. Do you? Yeah. I support um, meditative people. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even I hey, would, if you put vegetarianism and meditation together what does it sound like it sounds like a hippie hippie <laughs> it sounds like the 1970s and like lsd and all that stuff doesn't it you what, just vegetarian being vegetarian and meditating vegetarian and meditation you got to wear a wig uh, to meditation go, is uh, huge these days not meditation yeah i'm gonna start meditating i think it's supposed to be really good. It's I've really never good meditated, like but I'm considering calming your mind. It. I'm considering the meditation, guys. What about being vegetarian? I'm considering vegetarian as well. <laughs> I'm also considering long hair and very colourful clothes. <laughs> and LSD. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, guys. I'm only joking. Let's be serious for a second. Yeah, anyway, I think uh, we've not really covered the topic of branded clothing very well here. As we said at the start, we go off the rails. <laughs> well, then then uh, branded clothing, um, it does see like your your shirt is because it's branded and it's got nice logos and everything. So it does make a plain black shirt looks a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, but I do like plain black, sh- black shirts. And you see, um, I think uh, certain people that wear branded clothing clothing they're trying yeah. very hard and certain yeah. people that don't wear branded clothing they're not trying as hard well a lot of it is just where the hell like how materialistic you are as well like you're paying to basically you're basically when you're paying for like really really expensive highly branded products you're basically just wearing your money you want to show people that you've paid yeah. the money for it aren't you yeah in yeah. a way have you heard of the um, the pretty boys in Africa that... Um, pretty boys yeah, yeah. in Africa? They're called dandy, the dandy boys. Oh, yeah. I, f- I think you showed me a documentary. The, the on dandy the... boys of the Congo, if anyone wants to go check that out. Um, they're called the dandy boys of the Congo. And basically, they spend all their money. They live in huts. They live in like... Sheds. Like, awful conditions, right? And everyone around them is poor and they're poor and everyone's poor, Okay. But they're, um, they spend obscene amounts of money, like thousands of US dollars, obscene. to to buy these to buy these clothes that are insane, like a full red suit, and mm. crocodile shoes, crocodile, crocodile shoes. skin shoes. Yeah, seriously, and like they'll spend an obscene amount of money to look amazing in poverty. They're called the Dandy Boys, Dandy Boys of the Congo. Wow. Interesting. If you guys want to go check that out, 
Dandy Boys of the Congo. Make sure you go check out. It's interesting. But while you're at it, hit subscribe. Oh, uh, likes, please. Hit it because we do like people who hit subscribe. And we did have a comment on the last video, so we really appreciate the comment. Uh, we did have one comment, my friends. One comment. Hi to the shout person to, um, who gave us a shout, comment. Uh, the shout comment. out to our one Wait. commenter. How sad is that? <laughs> I said I was going to give a shout out to anyone who wants a shout out, but he but didn't want a shout out, but I'm going to shout him out. Right, anyway. that, that that's out. a nice, nice comment. Matter physics. Shout out to Matter physics. Matter physics. Last episode, Thank you, my friend, it. for Matter physics for we commenting it, on though. our video. Yes. We do like the comments. And there is more than one person watching the podcast. I watch it. James, <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to I, it. I watch it on with audio you. services. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe and the like if you get the chance or whatever it is that you can do to give us a bit of support. That would be uh, uh, interesting and, and really nice for us. We yes. didn't really wrap that topic up, did we? No, we didn't wrap it up <laughs> at all. <laughs> but should we move on anyway? Let's move on. Let's okay. move on. So the next topic is quite an interesting one. It's to do with Japanese culture mm. and it's called Bonenkai. Bonankai. Bonankai. Give me an uh, explanation of what this is. Okay, Bonankai. It's best if I probably read it off a, a website. It's yeah. basically each December, Japan is swarming with Bonankai parties. Okay? Right. And Bonankai party, it means forget the year party. Right. Okay? And it's a way for the Japanese people to leave behind their troubles from the current year and look optimistically toward a new one. So it's like turning over a new leaf, I guess. Um, and it says pretty much every company will throw one of these parties, but there will also be private ones among friends and family. And it's a Japanese tradition. It's typically structured with various games and speeches. Quite interesting. Mm. It's basically a, a tradition where people kind of move on with their life. So it's sort of like a New Year's party, but in a more extravagant fashion in a way, isn't it? It seems so, and it's more put into the culture i mean like the new year party now is just is just like every other party yeah, over here like new year's parties are just like going out and drinking really isn't it it is sort of a celebration of like the year but it's more just like <laughs> going a general out and party, drinking. Isn't it? yeah i think people don't really give a damn about the new year can i say give a damn is that an expletive or is that no i, mean, I think damn is it. fine isn't it i yeah. don't know i think that's isn't that fine? My mother tongue is not English. Legal. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't think people really care at all about New Year's, um, but it's just a chance to get a break, get a celebration. I never really cared much about celebrating New Year's. Because what does New Year mean anyway? It's just, gen- just another year. December whatever to January the beginning of it. Because I don't want to use dates because I'm not intelligent enough to know the calendar very well. It it's just tells you, you you are another year older, isn't it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think it is no. interesting that they That's have parties birthday. to sort but of... It, it, once you get into a new year, but, but the thing is, <laughs> and you'll be 30 years old. See, so. see, this is the thing, like, people might not watch the video version, so they won't know what I'm doing. <laughs> they, they won't know that I'm like this. <laughs> you, you literally look like Angry Mouse. Angry uh, Mouse? Maybe like a mora. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was pulling a funny face, guys. See, this is why you should watch the video version too. There's always entertainment. Matter going physics on. is watching it. Shall Matter physics, <laughs> my friend, <laughs> my friend. Right, Does, anyway, yeah. I um, wonder if he watches the show as well. Uh, comment oh, on this video p- if you're do. watching it. Please do. Watch the show. I wonder if anyone else is watching the show. <laughs> I don't know. Do we? <laughs> We're getting less views than when we started. <laughs> <laughs> well, but nobody help you to boost it anymore, you know. I think it's funny. I think it's really funny. All right. Anyway, so but, what, what? Uh, I think it's interesting that they have um, parties that based around sort of letting go of the last year, not hanging on to it and moving forward with it. Definitely, that's interesting. It, mm, Rather than people, a lot of people look at back in the year and like what happened, which I think is good because it's good to like reminisce about good things that happened, even bad things, and learning from them, but. It's great to have like a progressive mindset of like we're moving forward now and like looking forward to the future rather than staying in the past. Maybe they encourage each other to do it as well because because you can just sit sit around and think about oh maybe I should move on from my past all the time, but maybe there is like a group of people do it together then make them think yeah yeah everybody's moving on I should moving on as well. You know yeah, like the encour- the encouragement between each other. But maybe you know, like a um, like what it really is, like 
maybe that's just a tradition that people just do it because how they want to drink anyway. Possibly. I mean, yeah. obviously, they, uh, they, if, you, if that's all you want to do to celebrate, then they do sh- mm, uh, partake in quite a lot of alcohol, apparently, these Bon and Kai parties. I think right. a lot of parties have alcohol. I think alcohol is like a running theme of parties in general, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah. I think it should, instead of instead of alcohol, it should be cream cakes. My God. Do you not, know what I mean? not everybody loves cr- cream cakes, do they? Well, unless, well you, you certainly don't if you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> 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 you, you are so silly <laughs> But yeah Cream cakes are brilliant I think they're amazing Chocolate eclairs oh, Chocolate eclairs are good Chocolate eclairs You know you can get yeah. Chocolate eclairs from Greg's And they are amazing The problem is Oh the other day You asked me to buy you one I forgot See See this See, No love <laughs> You only just remembered No love <laughs> Yeah I just re- I'm gonna get a chocolate Something eclair happened. today And I'm gonna eat it In front of James Just to show him <laughs> <laughs> I'll film it <laughs> Look for that on the next with the Bentleys. <laughs> Stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way. But yeah, Bon and Kai parties is quite interesting. I like the fact that they're going to be moving on with their life. I think that's so yeah. important. Don't stay in the past. Don't stay in the past. Oh, past Move is already on. in the past, isn't it? Yeah. Move on with your life. I think life. it's good to learn from the past, though, and remember what has happened and not just forget everything. Yeah, I mean, you'd be a completely different person. But, like, the the past, past is like a guide to the future, in a sense. Mm, interesting. Forget your past. Mm, I think. I think. Um, not just to uh, you know forget your past. I think the past only uh, serve a purpose if you try to learn from your mistake. Yes. Uh, then, other than that, like you should look look forward to the future and see what your future holds, <laughs> and also <laughs> you try to build your future. Imagine if you woke up every morning and like. Where am I? What's going on? I don't know where I am. Who am I? What's happening? Who's my name? What's my name? Why is my skin this color? Like, you know, imagine like if you woke up every morning and it was the same routine. <laughs> How, it's like you'd just been reborn every single day. <laughs> you wake up. Whose bed is this? What is going on? Like, you know, it'd be really hey, weird. Don't, don't you don't even remember what is a bed. Maybe you don't remember Maybe anything. you don't even remember you a bed. You know literally nothing. You imagine yeah. that. Like yeah. you can't talk. You Imagine can't if do... that's what the end of the year was like. Every year you just it's like, like a reset, completely wipe out. You, I don't know. You always behave like, like Jaden, isn't it? Jason Bourne, like, no nothing. Imagine just wake up with a, a, a blank mind. You wouldn't. You'd be like a baby, though, wouldn't you? you? Yeah. You wouldn't know how to walk, would you? You'd just get out of bed and fall on the floor. And you have to <laughs> just a mess on the floor, just like you, a, a pile just, of bones. Just yeah, just it's not just that you have to wear nappies all the time. <laughs> you have to potty train yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what to try and potty train yourself before bedtime? Because <laughs> next morning you damn know you're gonna wake up and you're gonna you're gonna poo yourself <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna have to wear nappies twenty four seven. It sounds like a pretty awful day. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an this awful, is like awful some day. Sick experiment. <laughs> <laughs> that would be absolutely horrific. <laughs> you, It'd be you'd be horrific. You'd be under the category of different. That would be right? terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible day. Right. So let's just move on from that. That was a quick topic. To topic number three. <laughs> oh, smashing through oh, these quick. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So topic number three. Color perception. Color perception. How where did you, uh, where did you get this topic from? How it can affect etc. Yeah. That's what I wrote down. What with is my, that? With so my, how we perceive With my colors. orange crayon. Yeah, how we... Well, like, yeah, perception of color. Or like how... How colors are perceived. Uh, yeah. Like culturally and... Um, on a society basis. Because like... Colors yeah. like, like purple is considered to be royal. Yeah. Superstitiously, but, you, but the thing is, right? It's perceived to be royal, but there's a there's a reason behind that. There's a reason behind that. That's yeah. because uh, purple used to be really hard to make, mm. wasn't it? So mm. that's why they own, only the royalty because they had to get like expensive like rare, dye. Yeah, rare. Yeah, the dye was very hard to make. It was like rare from like oysters or something like that. So yeah. So I mean, like more to do with. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, really. You can take it how you want it. But I mean, like, more biologically so. Like how you respond to, say, like, blue making you feel cooler or something. Yeah, because, like, you look at it, 
because we're intelligent creatures, okay? Are you? But well, I'm, so I'm, 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 you know, <laughs> well, you know, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? But yeah, some people are intelligent human beings. But you look at a bull, right? You've yeah. heard of a bull seeing red. It's not true. <gasps> are you completely gonna de- false? Are you going to debunk it? No, no, it's, it's been debunked oh. like quite a while ago. It's completely untrue. Okay, them so, seeing red. So why did they run at red flags? Why is that? They run at any flag. Oh, any flag. Yeah, it's just any color to use red. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Right. Okay, so that's that's not true at all then. All right. So what about this then? It's just that they're taunting them. That's why. All right. Okay. So the bulls just get mad. All right. Forget that example. What about these um, these creatures that are smart enough not to eat certain colors of other animals? For example, uh, you see like a a very bright green frog in the Amazon rainforest, mm. and it's got yellow dots on it. Yeah, certain colours. Creatures know not to mess with that. Yeah, certain colours. Um, it's inbuilt It's just like they're poisonous or other, other things. Yeah, there's like some kind of biological nature inside yeah. of us and other creatures. Yeah, colourful um, mushrooms, normally they're toxic as well. Yeah, avoid certain colours in nature. You know, certain bright colours are Yellows. like... Yellows. Yeah, they're like, boom, you know, avoid that one. That's danger, yeah. you know? What do you think about that? I think inbuilt instincts. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, mm. uh, so far, I've like not certain seen... Certain animals have evolved to sort of see certain colours in oh, different right. ways and perceive oh, yeah, certain colours in different we ways. We can see loads of colours, can't we? Whereas other animals, not necessarily. Like dogs. Yeah, well, our, yeah. our eyes are actually, in terms of like the colour space that we see is actually quite small, I think. I think some animals can see more than us, right? Yeah, some people can see more than other people. Some people can see more colours than others. Whoa. And I know your night vision, you know, night vision wise. Yeah. His night vision definitely is not as good as mine. I think I don't know if it's a blue you know, eye thing carrots. or I think it's a blue eye thing, a blue eye people. Like Jaden's uh night vision is really good. It might good. be like there were cause there's certain um cause you, your eyes have rods and cones, I think. And then I think one of them is better for seeing at night because that sees blue, I think, or something like that. Sorry, I'm just chewing like my lip. Eyes here. have Woeful. like it's actually quite tasty. in a different way. Does it say, taste like a chocolate eclair? I'm just reminiscing of the chocolate eclair. I'm sure everyone is loving these sounds. It's gross. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. First. <laughs> They, they're right not, in my ear. they don't deserve this, do they, the subscribers? They deserve some quality information about poisonous frogs. Poisonous frogs? What are you saying, James? Uh, I've lost it. Cones and rods. I was talking, yeah, I was talking about, about cones and rods. Night, night vision. How your eyes night vision, yeah. yeah. You, well, uh, let's just say this. I wouldn't make the way it, you see, I think, because like, when you see in the dark or you see dark scenes, it tends to look blue, doesn't it? More, it tends to look a bit more blue in darkness. And that's because your thing is... It's either the cones or the rods, which um, are more capable of seeing in dark, and they are the same that take uh, that see blue or something like that. I'm, subscribe. I'm, I'm explaining this terribly, but it's <laughs> like Make sure you subscribe. So, so that. why why he's like literally? If I can see everything in the dark, then he's like, I have to. If we turn the light off at night, that if we go somewhere, I literally have to hold him. Otherwise, he'll just. If, bump if I me. flick off the bedroom light switch. I am blind. <laughs> I become blind. I would not make a very good Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I would make a horrific Batman. Eat more carrots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to be a rabbit. A rabbit those carrots yes. down. Well, here yeah. you go. I've got a carrot. No, it's just an orange crayon. But not a carrot. So you have to eat carrot for lunch instead of whatever. I just tasted some crayon. You're so the- gross. Probably not the first time in my life. I'm going to try more. It's a bit waxy. Because it is made of wax. Mm, just eating crayon, my subscribers. What is this show? <laughs> <laughs> right, colour perceptions. Mm, it's, it's a bit strange. So so what, what else around colour perceptions and you can develop? I think, I think it's, it's probably a big topic within like design, like interior design or graphic design and stuff like that, the way that certain colours connote certain feelings or impressions on people dude we should totally paint my civic like you literally know. by hand get paint buy it from a painter's yard or whatever it's called right and paint it what paint my civic 
It's paint. not really related like multicolored, though. Multicolored, like swooshes of paint in different colors, and like you know, do a custom design. Do it Bro, if you want to, because that be car amazing. That car already broken, you know. It would be amazing. <laughs> hmm. hey. What could you paint it though? Bro, we do like a special design. Maybe brown. Like, like whatever design, you know, just like swooshes. If you got swirls. like a really talented artist to paint like a lion across it or something like that. I don't mean a like, lion. it doesn't have that to be, be cool. super detailed. I just mean like, you know, like you see these watercolor paintings and they're not He means and, just pour it on. You I know, mean, like, yeah, just kind of <laughs> splash it on. You're not going to slam the Mona Lisa on the bonnet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm thinking just like a custom design, you know, like a... It doesn't ha have to follow a strict pattern and that kind of thing. We should we should mm. try it. Uh, you, you know your headphone is matching the table. Oh, well. well talking gold. about my color coordination there. Yeah. Color coordination. Yes. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely paint my car manually. And I don't mean with a spray gun or anything like that. Not like one color. It should be yellow. How it long should be would red. that take? It should be blue. It, it, it doesn't really purple. matter. It I've, should be green. I've, I've got somebody on my mind that he was willing to do this job for you. Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jaden will definitely help me with that. Yeah. He'll be. He'd he, love it. Yeah. And you could put handprints. Handprints. That would be on quite the cool. Bonnet. That would be cool. Like a handprint on the bonnet. Jaden's handprint. It. Yeah. 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 And then you sign it after it's lacquered. You can get Aji to do mm. it as well. How cool would Aji that be? Aji little paw print. How cool yeah, would that be? Like, just get Aji to run through some paint and then run all over the car. And she's yeah. Paw prints all over it. Oh, there's so many things you could do. Because I need to car. sand the car down anyway because the bodywork is horrific. So. Hey, you know what that reminds me? The car you know, is barely, uh, barely even together. I know, it's awful. You know, it's Angela rusting. Jolie, yeah. when she married to Brad Pitt and her wedding dress was, um, got her kids drawing on the whole wedding dress really yeah mm. wow that's interesting i'm sure it's quite nice just don't let Jaden get hold of a tattoo gun <laughs> <laughs> where would he get one of them <laughs> just lying on the street no no it doesn't happen like that yeah but don't let him don't let children don't actually you know what tattooing is probably a pretty bad idea have you ever heard of a method called scarification no you probably have scarification is that a no i don't think so no okay Scarification. Hey, look. Wow. Angelina Jo's, Jolie's wow. wedding dress. Yeah, her, her, that is her very, kids. It looks a bit like a curtain. <laughs> Interesting. Check that out, guys. If you're it looking does. on the video platform, it does make look sure a bit like she just look. picked that up at Ikea and slapped it. And put yeah, it, it does look it, a bit. Her kids at draw least it. She's, at least she's gone for it, you know? At least she's not held back. It's <clears> interesting. Yeah. It's unique. It is indeed. But anyway, yeah, scarification. What's scarification? Okay, this is another method of of kind of. What I'd is say you that? Put it in is it tattoo like, removal, or is no. it like instead of doing a oh, tattoo? Oh right, I know that word. Though. What you get like a scar instead of a tattoo, but like yes. a designed scar. Yes, that's it's crazy. Designs are as gross. So basically, tattooing is where they put a needle through your under your skin with ink. Ink, and yeah. And yeah. put ink under your skin, branding right. yourself basically. Yeah. Going back to the branding, guys. Right, but on a different note, scarification, however, is where they remove skin. Yeah. Wow. wow! Yeah, they use a machine and remove mm. the skin. Oh, I that sounds really that. painful. In I like pattern. tattoos. So you've got an exposed wound. Oh, I, I, okay. I won't want to and try it. The exposed it. wound then scabs over, grows back, and scars. Uh. And the scar is the actual, <laughs> you know, whatever Print. that's the scarification. The print is the scar. Uh, no, I'm not. No. I'm not about that. If that's what you want, then fair play. But that's uh, I mean, something ta else. That... Tattoos, you just be happy with a tattoo. You can probably get something more detailed else. designs with tattoos than like scars as well, can't you? It's, if, it's, if, you're, uh, no. if you're not into gruesome things, don't Google scarification, okay? Because it's quite gruesome. But, um, but yeah, I, I heard about it quite a few years ago. And um, it's not popular, but it is a method I'm not that people surprised. use. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's got to be painful, that. It's going to be but really pe painful. People call tattooing scarring. Tattooing because is in a quite way painful. Does. Essentially, you are scarring yourself. Yeah, because it is like semi-permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a scar. In that you can be removed. It can be, but they have to use lasers, don't they, to, yeah. to burn the ink under the skin. Yeah. So that it doesn't... Um, well, that scar you if you try to remove a tattoo. Uh, you do have a, like a permanent yeah. mark on your skin. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tattoo it. over it, don't they? 
Yeah. Yeah, tattoo things are quite... They're kind of taboo, aren't they, tattoos? Especially in some cultures. Not these days. In some cultures, yeah, but these days in Western cultures, it's more. It's becoming more and more normal for people to have tattoos. Yeah, it's, it's like, a weird so It's just like everyone has tattoos these days. It seems like, like a bit tattoos. of a call. I, really like tattoos. I think it's a bit of a call for help, tattoos. Shall well, I tell you why? Really. Yeah, I'll tell you why, because I was watching this documentary and they basically took three people. Have you seen it recently? It's been online. They took three people who were full of tattoos, tattoos mm. all over Face. their faces and body and everything. They took them and sent them out in public and got them to ask directions from people and tried to just engage in conversation. And everybody was just walking past them, ignoring them as if they weren't even there because they looked oh. strange. They looked different. Yeah, because not they everyone looked like was thugs, completely they looked like gangsters. covered in tattoos. Yeah, because they were covered. And uh, then what they did is they took them to some makeup professionals and got the makeup Cover professionals to completely cover it with loads of foundation and all the makeup that women typically use and covered over these tattoos and sent them back out. And they didn't like how people were treating them. They liked to be different. They liked to be seen. They liked people looking at them and saying, oh, that person's a bit strange because he's got tattoos. And they didn't really like the fact that they blended into society and no one cared about yeah, them. Yeah, because it's just like a form of self-expression. Really? Yeah. I guess mm. so. And there's a level of art to it in that like people have, literally have works of art tattooed on their body. But it's just interesting when, when they they did that because I saw that, that they actually liked to be different. They liked to be seen as different and they used tattoos to do that. For me, a that just seems like... people like to be different. <clears throat> it's just they may not necessarily use tattoos to, to do so. that way. Yeah. Maybe <clears throat> the, being different is that they wear different sorts of clothes. Yeah, maybe. Fashion mm. is how For they me, express themselves. I don't really like to be different. <clears throat> I like to you be know? the same. That's why I wear these clothes and I talk like the way the I do and I walk the way I do. I just like to blend in and not be noticed. Well, really. I think everyone is different. Yeah. It's just whether you want to, it's more like whether you want to like express yourself or be like known for it. Subscribe. Make sure you mm. subscribe. Or what, what can you do on Spotify? You don't subscribe, do you? Um, you can follow, yeah. Follow. Sub <laughs> sub follow. That was very P. Subolo. Yeah? Hey, somebody is calling me. Subolo. Should I answer or not? No. Okay. So anyway, guys, we are Get very busy podcast. as you can see. Um and we we do receive many, many phone calls from people that want to get business done with us. If you want to know what it is we do, I'd suggest you watch the With the Bentley show. Or RG Customs. Or at RG Customs. RG Customs? Yes. Facebook as well and Instagram? Yeah, yeah. We're not trying to plug our business to you because you don't really care what we do anyway. Psh, make sure you follow following with the Bentleys on Instagram as well and Facebook. And if you have made it this far, make sure you follow us. And uh, you know what? I'd like some suggestions right about now. I'd like some suggestions. Comment. Uh, if you're listening on audio, then head over to the YouTube and give us a comment on whether you have a tattoo and what you think. About also, tattoos. have you ever heard of scarification, Bonankai Japanese parties, uh, Ralph Lauren polo shirts, or poisonous frogs in the Amazon rainforest? See, Ralph if, if, you, see if you could see me on the video, you'd be able to see what <laughs> I was doing with my face just then. <laughs> just see? in silence. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was visually right. pleasing. <laughs> visually it was a Let's feast for your eating. eyes yes that's right people can up. see my teeth with the i had braces you know when i was a kid how long i had bra see my teeth I, i've are... seen his picture before he had braces i had braces for like three four years and his teeth was like he had the explosion in his mouth they're like full-on braces or just like retainers a proper proper brace yes like they had to drag teeth like to, the ones where you got like the cage on your head <laughs> all right no no, no. He, he when he <laughs> wear these things <laughs> Then you don't want to speak to me. Do you remember? Do you remember? Um, you uh, t you have those things. You can put it back on. Just try to yeah, retainers. Yeah, yeah. No, I had like proper braces where like I had teeth up up there. Like I had I had baby teeth still in position at like seventeen, sixteen. Wow. Yeah, baby teeth still there. They had to rip <laughs> out the baby teeth. <laughs> Ricky's just thinking of a joke. To no, me. I was thinking <laughs> shark teeth. You know, shark or a few rows out. Yeah, I had rows of teeth going on, guys. 
And it was like you like like you said, it was like somebody let off a grenade in my mouth. It was just like <laughs> <laughs> it was just an explosion of teeth everywhere. And you're, they had to like the dentist must have seen it and be like, What went on in here? Like a massacre of my mouth or something. And like and then eventually they had to get like, like braces. A <laughs> they had to get braces and just like, you know, they glue them on, don't they? The little fixation things, and then they pull them down. And they had to like rearrange my entire mouth and remove. <laughs> rearrange your mouth. Yeah, they had to remove five teeth. Was it painful? You, you when put you put the braces on? Is it uh, any pain? You involved? do occasionally feel tugging. Sore. Yeah, you go back and they tighten it up and just slowly oh, work them down. Oh, so right, they, okay. So they work down into position, and um, yeah. So I, I braced on for quite a while. My teeth were horrific. I, I like saying that word today. Very horrific. Horrific. Huh. Horrific, horrific, <clears throat> but yeah, my teeth were just awful, and and, and and they were for a long time. My teeth have stayed in this position now for ages and ages and ages. I can't Your teeth help is but, fine. Yeah, like I never use the retainer, and they're just completely fine. Like they haven't moved over the last like well, I don't think decade. They really do much moving once you like a an adult. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. They're already fixed in position. Yeah, but one thing, I'm I've got like a... Like, a trying to run out your mouth. I've got, what time are we on anyway? We've been going for 42 minutes. Okay, I just want to just briefly pass on something because I believe that I... The bonus... Bonus topic, and this is about myself. I believe I've reached a point, James. I've reached a point. I've oh yeah, he had Ricky, a chat with me last night again. Ricky, I sat her down and oh, had God. a chat. I believe I've reached a point. An emotional chat as well. A point. And the point is, I believe I've reached adulthood. Make sure you're following and subscribing <laughs> there, guys. I've got amazing content for you. I believe I've reached adulthood. Bam. <laughs> I bam. <laughs> Explosions. Finally. Firecrackers. And At 36 wow. years old. 36? <laughs> what's, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> boom, guys. Boom. I've reached a pinnacle. I've reached the point. I've reached the turning point. I've reached adulthood. The thing you hear about all the time. Something that people it's about time. reach to try and reach and, and never achieve and all that stuff. I believe I've got there, guys. I believe I've got there. I believe I'm achieving. I believe I'm perceiving. I believe I'm attaining. I believe I'm pushing forward and moving through boundaries. And I've reached the destination so of adulthood. So basically you're saying you had a long pubic uh, period. <laughs> a long pubic period? <laughs> You know, you hear your puberty. Isn't that something girls have? <laughs> what? You're saying only girls go through puberty? <laughs> you go puberty as well, right? You had a long puberty e you, uh, period. You, you, said, you said period. Oh, right. <laughs> isn't that something? Period. No, period is like a period of time, isn't it? Oh, right. Like, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> got up, right. Sorry, sorry. I'm just catching up here, it's guys. The adulthood's not quite sitting yet. <laughs> <laughs> a period of time. A period of time. Yeah, Got yours you. is your puberty is long. Right, right, right. No, I understand. Lasted what you're saying. for like fourteen years, or something. Forty years. Fourteen. Oh right, One, right. Four. No, 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 no. It's yeah, because you're forty-five. It's, right? been, it's been a, a lot longer than that, <laughs> lad, you know. It's been a lot longer than that. I was an early developer, <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been in uh, developed since five. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly. Do you want me to give you the, the, the date on the calendar? <laughs> it was this day I hit puberty. No, I don't know when I hit it exactly, <laughs> but like it's been quite a while. It's been quite a while, but like it lasted for quite a period of time. Oh, 25 years. period there. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's lasted a, a long time and uh, I feel like I'm kind of reaching that point. That point. Let me just wet my palate with a with a <laughs> sugar free uh, branded drink. Oh, I'm gonna show it on myself. Sugar. <laughs> what very so when you say you've reached adulthood, do you really just mean that you've finally become mature? Um, I feel like I have definitely, definitely. Well, I, I don't know. It's like a s suspicious thing for me. I'm not actually sure whether this is what, I, but I believe I've reached a point in my life where I've hit adulthood. What else did you hit? Should I tell you why? Yeah. I find things that I used to find entertaining no longer entertaining. You know, I, I, I look at things and go, oh, that's boring. <laughs> but like back in the day, I used to love it. I used to think, wow, that's awesome. But now it's like, psh, boring. <laughs> and I think that's <laughs> like, you get a lot of Have old you ever seen people. the show Parks and Recreation? 
Uh, no. There's a character on that that says the exact same thing when he becomes when he turns thirty. Oh really? Yeah. Oh goodness me, that's Chris happened. Pratt. It's happened. It's happened. Chris Pratt says the exact same thing. I've reached. I like stuff. I don't find anything enjoyable anymore. Stuff I used to like, I don't like anymore. Dude, this is it. I've hit adulthood. I've hit adulthood. Like this is the thing. Is like I reckon I've reached that point where I look at children and go, look at those foolish little peasants. <laughs> Children? Why peasants? Well, I don't know. I'm not peasant necessarily. Those foolish little scrappers. Yeah, you don't need to be judgmental over people, is it? No, yeah. but that's you what don't. all people do, isn't it? Oh, all people, they're not talking like, look, I used to do burnouts on my street. Yeah, my neighbours used to come out and go, why are you doing burnouts, you little rebels? Right? But that's because they're old and boring. I think I've reached that point. Right, I'm, you become old I'm and an boring. Old I'm an old man now. Like, dude, <laughs> I've hit old manity. You've grown out of burnout age. I've, uh, I've after grown... puberty is true. <laughs> no, I still want to do old. burnouts. I still want to do burnouts. I'm just mean that like I'm perceiving thing. I'm trying to just use an example of old boring people and saying that that's similar to me now. Sorry I keep rubbing my nose if you're watching the video version. There's something in my nose is itchy. It's either the skin or it's like a bullion. Is that is that because is that because you're getting old? I don't know. It might be an oh, old man. Maybe age. maybe old you're man so age. old your 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 nostril hair starts to grow so long <laughs> and that oh, itch you. No. I need to get a woman in here to like shave my nostril hair or something, don't <laughs> Why I? Why does she have to be a woman and <laughs> well, why can't man. you do it yourself? <laughs> Lazy. I like that double barreled hey, question. You just, it was good. you just get a tweezer, plug them out. Oh, that's horrible. That would make what? my eyes water. That's fine. Old people just leave the nostril water. hair, haven't you noticed? <laughs> what? That's what old people do. Old people never shave up nostril hair. It's like a rule. Isn't it? <laughs> Especially women with beards, like they just leave the beard there, <laughs> don't they? With beard. Yeah. Well, it's like a trophy that's of all, your I, I'm gonna start. I can't say I see many bearded women knocking around. I'm gonna start experimenting <laughs> with my adulthood now. Now that I've reached it. I'm gonna start like looking. <laughs> is this where you just, this where you just give up on your appearance and you just like? <laughs> I'm gonna get a bit of slob and stop having sex and uh, just become old in it, basically. Become old. <laughs> <laughs> get a rocking chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a cat. You know, that's have things that old people do, and suck on lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> Were there's originals? That's the old person yes, tweet. Yes, and extra strong trebbers. That that's you are being preached this to old people here. <laughs> Werther's originals are amazing. Old people, people, people know what's original. up with Werther's. That's so good. Werther's originals. Older, actually, you're talking about mentally older, isn't it? You're not talking about advancing years, are you? But that's the whole point, though, isn't it? Like that's why old people are boring as hell. Like sometimes you see you an are, old person, you... and they'll be in a nightclub at. <laughs> Because like they're old, but they're still young at heart. Yeah, I'm talking about me being old in a young Inside. person's body. Well, you you are, do you remember that personality test you did the other day? You are old mentally. You're like thirty seven, isn't it? Well, there you go. I, you know what? If I take the test this week, it'll probably be forty eight. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're getting older by the week. Next week, you'll be 65. <laughs> he, he, hitting your menopause here straight away. <laughs> menopause? Yeah. There is are it, isn't, isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't that what we, that, isn't that what women have? <laughs> menopause. <laughs> menopause. Isn't that what women have? I think man's got menopause as well. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. If you look into it, it's like, no, no, you stop. Uh, your period because you don't have any anyway. Period. <laughs> Isn't that what women have? <laughs> <laughs> Even if you whisper, they can still hear it. <laughs> oh, right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, what happened? It to was this another show? another. We had a bonus a bonus topic for you guys, and I shall then talk about it on the show as we well. Stopped about five minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. We then we'll say bye bye to everybody say today. Then. I've got a FedEx shipment airway bill with a reference code that's been imported from outside the EU and right. is subject to an import charge of XXXX. Mm. Right, okay. We'll have so to pay I've for that then they will arrive then. Yeah, thanks for my... all the, uh, the cocaine you've been bringing in. I with. love you guys. I love you very much. Oh, Mishkan and something. What was his name again? Mishkan. <laughs> Mish <laughs> Metaphysics. Metaphysics. Thank you, Metaphysics, for Number one tuning. fan. <laughs> yeah, our number one subscriber. We love you. And if you keep tuning in and you're still loyal, in one month's time, I'm going to do a giveaway and you're probably going to be the only winner. So um, stay tuned. <laughs> and uh, 
And we love you. Don't forget to follow us on the social media networks. And uh, we appreciate you tuning into our podcast. Yes. It has been a lengthy one, but it's been an enjoyable if one. If you've made it this far. Please you, definitely just, subscribe. Just why? <laughs> like you lasted you you've got some endurance i'm telling you right now <laughs> whoever this is watching now has got some serious endurance to we're get wasting this. a whole hour out of legendary day. legendary wasting hey, this was not wasting. a waste this if you've learned something from this podcast that you didn't know before comment and let us know if if they've 100 percent learned something new what about man menopause? I didn't know there was a menopause, but suddenly I've learned something new. There you go. Something new every day. And if there's anything that we said that is completely incorrect, you can feel free to uh, correct us in the comments. Yeah. Well. Thanks. Thanks once again. And that's out for me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Out. Oh.